सो इट्स ऑलमोस्ट एंड ऑफ मे ऑलमोस्ट द एंड ऑफ द गैलेक्सी सीजन बट इट्स जस्ट द बिगनिंग ऑफ द गैलेक्सी सीजन फॉर मी बिकॉज दिस ईयर द वेदर हेयर इन म्यूनिक हैज़ बीन हॉरेबल विद वेरी वेरी लेस क्लियर नाइट्स टू फोटोग्राफ एंड ऑल्सो फॉर टूडे इट वॉज शोइंग वन वीक बैक दैट इट्स गोना बी क्लाउडी बट ऑल ऑफ अ सडन द वेदर चेंज एंड इट्स ऑल क्लियर नाउ Uh, so what to do or what astrophotographers do when it's a clear night we are out in the night with our stuff <laughs> uh so i'm photographing a galaxy today which is um approximately 12 million light years away from earth uh it's one of my favorite galaxies it's called the cigar galaxy um why is it called a cigar galaxy because of its peculiar shape this galaxy is around 12 million light years away from earth so the light what my telescope is seeing it originated from this galaxy 12 million years back so we are actually seeing how this galaxy looked like 12 million light years ago can you believe that and we have uh, the luxury right now because of the advancements in technologies and and the kind of age we are living in we can actually see such stuff right from our backyard um so this galaxy since it's so far away and it's so small in the field of view i had to bring in my bad boy my my big telescope my celestron c8 and i'm actually using a, a guiding system uh, out uh, on this telescope and if you have to guide at such a long focal length of approximately 1300 mm because i'm using a focal reducer uh, to get a flat feel like sharp stars in the in in each corner of the frame uh then you have to make sure that your guiding is absolutely perfect and that's why i'm using my am5 mount because at this long focal length i need the perfect guiding system so let's see how much data i can get on this galaxy tonight wish me good luck so the first step was actually to adjust the focus of the stars because i just uh, 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 set up my telescope and mount here now i'm going to proceed with the polar alignment so i'm using nina and uh, you know nina is is uh, i think the perfect software in terms of astrophotography uh, because it controls the mount it controls your uh, i mean you can control the mount you are able to control almost everything um so what nina does is that it takes three exposures by rotating your mount your telescope and then it will tell me how how much i'm off uh, uh, in terms of my polar alignment So these are my figures or the polar alignment error. I'll do some adjustment to the azimuth and the altitude knobs. And the the idea here is to bring the polar at the total error uh, under 1 arc minutes. So that's my total polar alignment error uh which is wow I think I'm pretty not pretty I'm very happy with this level of error I have got so yeah I'll just uh start my sequence So I'm going to start uh, by taking 3 minute exposure and let's see after 1 hour if there are still clouds or not So let's click started So right now again it's going to play it solve and tell us if we are on target or off target and if we are on target which I'm pretty sure we will be because of the tracking it's going to again go to PhD2 and then start guiding so as you can see in the bottom left it's start guiding and let me just go to PhD2 and check so yes it's guiding on a star and once it has settled uh the the actual sequence of a 3 minute exposure is going to start in nina so let's go back to nina and now it's exposing for 3 minutes as you can see um and if i go to the imaging part so this is just a 10 second exposure which i took uh and after the 3 minutes uh, will be finished what nina will do is that it will show me that that individual 3 minute exposure the guiding is perfect I mean I'm guiding with the Celestron C8 with a whooping 1300 mm focal length and it's still keeping my overall image scale to around 60 arc seconds. So this is my best part actually which I love. 
So this is just a 10 second exposure which I took for initial plate solving. Now I so now Nina is about to finish the first three minute exposure and it's gonna show me how it will look like so. So what you see out here is just a single three minute sub of this galaxy which is approximately 12 million light years away from Earth. And, and what you see out here is a combination of 30 billion stars. Can you believe that? So this galaxy contains 30 billion stars. And one of the most mind-blowing facts about this galaxy is that what you see this red region out here, this is actually, so what is happening in this galaxy is uh, it is undergoing such a tremendous uh, rate of star formation that all these star formation processes they are expelling out intergalactic dust and gases from the entire galaxy so this is what you see out here as, as these red things and that's why this galaxy got its name as the cigar galaxy because it resembles a cigar